music. Here we are, we get it back. Thank you so much. How are you doing? I'm, I'm doing very well. It's, uh, it's always good to be in Milan, so I'm happy to be here. I know you arrived this morning and you've been to the stadium. How was that? Super crazy. Yeah, I mean, I've been before. I'm a really big football fan. I love football. So I saw AC Milan were playing Fiorentina, so I went. It was just vacation and work all together in one day. Yeah, yeah, it's just um, I try, try and enjoy myself as much as possible while I'm traveling and stuff, so if I can see a game, if I can see a football match, I'll go, you know? So, so um, uh, tonight uh, we are inside of a garage. Yeah. This is an old garage. Yeah. So from one of the oldest square of Italy, Colonna di San Lorenzo, yeah, yeah. to an old garage. Is it weird Italy, right? Yeah, I mean, what happens, happens. It's, it's a cool venue. Um, I don't really know exactly where I am, really, um, but it seems cool, um, and we'll, I'm sure we'll have a good time, play a lot of techno, and yeah, it looks good, it looks good. Actually, uh, this place was was uh, empty since a lot of time, we get inside three days ago, we cleaned everything up, and we made all together, yes, in yeah. one day. In one day? Yeah, one day. Well, what do you think about this kind of... Um, Situation and location. This is three days, uh, free for everyone, almost for free, so everybody can enjoy the music and listen really good artists like you. Yeah. It's not like every day. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I think it's it's really good for the people of uh, the young people of Milan who are interested in music. And um, you know, Matthias is put, putting on some really good events, and uh, for people to come along and, and see DJs like Kevin Saunderson, I think. Um, Mark Broom tonight, I mean, it's really, really good. A good education for them. Um, and I think what what Matthias is doing is really, really, really good for the the, community, the young community, you know. So, really, thumbs up. Really, really good. I know about you. You mentioned uh, Mark Broom. Yeah. You work together since a lot of time. Are you, get, uh, are you getting in touch to each other? Yeah, I mean, um, we're friends and, and at the moment we're, we're collaborating on uh, musically as well so he's a guy I really respect um, his music is, is incredible so it's really good to work with him and uh, yeah I look forward to playing with him uh, tonight so oh, are you getting in touch with the music the first time what about what kind of influence do you have at the beginning of your career well I went, I went to some clubs in, in Glasgow when I was young, like 17, and I saw DJs like Richie Houghton and Jeff Mills, and it really just opened up my mind completely, you know, I was like, wow, I, these guys are incredible, and I want to I want to try and do something like that, you know. Or something better. Or, no, I doubt, I doubt it could be better, but um, um, a massive influence so that these guys, you know, um, so yeah, I mean, yeah, I just wanted to, that's what I wanted to do, you know, really. And so what about your project for future? Well, yeah, I mean, I, I've just done a collaboration with uh, Green Velvet, which is, is really, really big for me. Um, I'm also developing my label, Beck Audio. Yeah. We, we just uh, had a label night in Berkheim in Berlin last week, which was, was incredible. Um, so I'm really going to look for developing the label and just try and continue to make some, some good music and uh, make people dance, I guess. <laughs> Thank you very much, Gary. I'll be dancing on, yeah, yeah, no, no, behind the basement. Oh, cool, cool. Obviously. Can you please say bye to Brainstorming Television with me? Thank you very much and goodbye Brainstorming Television with you. Gary back. Uh, thank you so much.